Very unfortunately, Tanzania has got a very low number of lawyers. They are, for the advocates, there are not more than 5,000 5, advocates at all. And in case for the paralegals, first of all, paralegals are not legally recognized by the country laws and they are not supposed to practice. So we are using them uh, sometimes for special, uh, for a special application. You see can, uh, in advance that this paralegal will be uh, specifically for the in a certain village to train their colleague but you don't we don't utilize them properly uh, being the case we are facing a lot of the problem concerning the low number of advocates because in a rural area people they don't have access at all and second it's very expensive now because there are few the demand is high then it's very expensive for uh, a normal person to hire an advocate uh, and that's why uh, organizations like Legal and Human Rights Center, we are having, uh, we are providing this free legal aid for those people who are in need, for those people who they cannot, they cannot have, uh, afford to hire an advocate. Our curriculum is, was very difficult to have a lawyer compared to other countries. A person can go to three years university. After that, uh, he go to law school. In previous, we were not having a law school in Tanzania. Law school has started recently, and as a result, now at least you can say we are having a lot of lawyers. And from 2009, I think we have adopted a law school. So after you do your bachelor, you go for law school. And law school is is is, is, is registering a lot of, of students. Well, thanks to law school, now at least the system has started to change. One of the problems that we are working to help with is that it's expensive to go to law school for people who don't live around Dar. Not only law school, in Tanzania, the tertiary education is very expensive because the basic education that the only government, in, uh, in, uh, the, the government assists the citizen is only primary education from standard one to seven. From there, it's on your own. And uh, you know, universities are very expensive. To go to university, you need to have uh, for instance, a bachelor of three years, you need to have more than 10 million shillings. A person, a normal citizen cannot afford, that is the dream money to catch. A parent cannot afford, a parent of four or, four or five children cannot afford to, to take even a single child to university. We have this we call loan board. Loan board took uh, at least contribute to very, provide loans to very small number of, of, of students, cannot afford to to take all of the data. and they have their means test. So if they take 100 this year, they can take 100 next year. You are not luck, then you, you don't go to university. And same problem for then going to, to, law, school. to law school Of after. course, it's the same fee. Yeah. Uh, the bachelor need fee, as I have mentioned. You go to law school also need to, to pay fee. Same large amount. Right. Yeah. I've heard that this results in a lot of people try having to take many years in between mm -hmm. university and going to law school because they have to build up yeah. the money to be able to pay. Mm -hmm. So, is that that's a is that a common problem? That is one of the major problem I can say. And the second one, people that cannot afford it all. You can find someone has tried, has tried, or she has tried. Only what she can manage is to for the bachelor. For the law school, she cannot afford, so she end up not to be a full profession, and she cannot, or he cannot practice.